Hello and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to install and remove hard drives, set RAID levels on, and convert the OWC Mercury Rack Pro into a desktop unit. We've already gathered our materials, unpacked the Rack Pro, and have set it on a soft, static-free surface. We are now ready to begin. Accessing the drive bays in the Rack Pro is incredibly easy. All you need to do is flip down the front cover and you'll see the four drive bays. These bays are numbered 1 through 4 from left to right. To install a drive in its bay, simply hold the hard drive so that the SATA connector is facing into the bay. Then, just slide it in until it seats. You can then repeat the process for the remaining drives. Replacing a drive is also quite simple. After unmounting and powering off the Rack Pro, gently but firmly pull the eject lever above the drive you wish to remove until it pops out slightly. Then, pull the drive the rest of the way out. You may now install the new drive. The Rack Pro comes set as a RAID 5 by default, but you may wish to change that setting. This is done by adjusting these switches on the back of the Rack Pro. You should note that this will erase all the data that's on the unit. This Rack Pro is currently set to RAID 0, but we want to change that. The first step is to power down the Rack Pro, which we've already done. Next, we place all the switches on the back into the down position. Next, push and hold the power and set buttons on the front until the Rack Pro beeps. Then, let go. You can then shut down the Rack Pro again. Using the legend here, set the switches to the setting for the RAID type you want. We're going to set this unit to a RAID 5, so all we need to do is push the middle switch into the up position. You may now turn the Rack Pro back on. When you do, you'll see the lights flash a couple of times. Once they stop, you can close up the front, and your Rack Pro will be ready for you to format and use. The Rack Pro comes set up for easy installation into a rack unit. However, it can also be converted for desktop use. The first thing you'll need to do is detach the rack mount tabs by removing the four Phillips screws holding each one on. The tab should then just pull right off. Once you've removed the rack mount tabs, flip the Rack Pro over. A bag containing the feet and mounting screws can be found in the Rack Pro's box. These feet attach to these four mounting holes. All you need to do is thread the Phillips mounting screw through the foot as shown, then line them up over a mounting hole, and tighten it down. Repeat the process for the remaining feet. Once all the feet have been attached, you can flip your Rack Pro over, plug it in, attach it to your computer, and turn it on.